What is going on everybody? Just the Savage here, aka the Spectrum Gamer, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I know that I've been working a lot on my Let's Play, on our Let's Play, excuse me, but um, one thing that I'm very concerned about is our base. We've gone on four episodes now, but um, the I'm I'm really starting to get concerned about our base. I've, like I said, we've been going through three episodes now, now four episodes in which our um, base does not look very good. So in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to, like, what our base... I'm basically going to be building our base. <laughs> Why couldn't I just say that? So, um, this is, in this video, because it's away from our um, playthrough... What I'm going to do is that I'm going to enable a mod called the Heroes mod, and this mod um, is basically every builder's dream. Um, it basically, it adds a creation mode into the game of Terraria, um, so without actually, you know, enabling a mode or anything like that. The Heroes mod will allow me access to every single item, every single weapon, every single piece of armor, every single accessory, everything. Um, that is in the game, including modded stuff. And because we do not have any um, expansion mods, um, like enabled, like for like Thorium or the Calamity mod or Tremor, um, we're just going to be seeing vanilla stuff. So I'm going to enable the Heroes mod by clicking this button right here called Enable. And now it's going to be green with the word enabled in it, and it says reload required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to this button called reload mods, and I'm going to click that. Okay. And so now if we go into the mods section, the heroes mod is now enabled. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just going to go into our world by clicking single player. Then we're going to go down here to our character, and we're going to press this button that looks like a play button. We're going to press that, and then we'll say that's the character that we want to play. And then we're going to go down here to our Let's Play um, world, and we're going to click Play on this one as well, and it's going to load up our world. Okay, so as you can see, now that we have the mod enabled, we have this um, hotbar down here. And this hotbar will is, is the mod in progress, the mod that we just enabled. So, I personally like building in the daytime, so first we're going to go over here to change the time in the rain, and then we're going to send it to noon time, and then one thing that you can do is you can pause the time, and that's what we're going to do, because I don't want it to become nighttime and then have monsters spawning in and stuff like that. Um, so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the item browser. Now this is like, just like in Minecraft's creation mode, um, you can search up anything from, like, wood to the last prism to basically anything. With this, this mod is basically a really big cheat mod. You can spawn in hard mode items while you're in pre-hard mode and just make yourself a god right away. But we're not going to do that. Today we're just going to be focusing on building. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a massive stack of wood. Actually, I think I'm going to get two massive stacks because this thing is going to be huge. I'm going to make this thing as big as, big as I can. I'm not going to give myself any more life crystals. I'm not going to give myself anything that's going to help us in the Let's Play because in the Let's Play, it's supposed to be like survival of the fittest. We have to, you know, find everything. We have to craft everything that we want. And um, it's supposed to be a very time-consuming experience. Actually, you know what? Instead of the wood walls... I'm going I'm just going to take I'm just going to trash those and I'm going to um let's see let how about we um get some gray brick walls in there okay so now that we have that uh I'm just going to start doing the outline of the house so we're going to close that out close that out and so what I have in mind for our base is is like like up here, there's going to be like a second version of this room down here, and then it's going to branch off, and it's going to make like this huge circle. And so, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my yapper, and I'm going to start building this thing. So let's get started.
Okay, so now that we got that part finished, we are now going to put in the block. And we're going to be using the smart mode for this. And do not worry, smart mode will not go beyond the boundaries of your house. Well, maybe it did there, but that was because I was standing right next to the doorway. So, yeah, we're just going to get this wall finished. Now we're going to use the light wooden hammer to get rid of the stone blocks, to get rid of the walls that we don't, that are branched off over there. Then we're going to take it out of smart mode, and we're just going to fill in this gap here. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm just going to take some of the torches that we're using in our Let's Play, and I'm going to be putting them down here. And it's okay, I can always build more, or I can spawn in more um, for the Let's Play, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. So now... I'm going to go back into the item browser, and now I'm going to search up door. And we're going to get two doors. Okay. Place those in there. Okay. Place those there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build out. Oh, and there's one more thing that I want to enable. If you're sick and tired of just having your character walk, having to walk your character around everywhere just to build everything, um, if you have the Heroes mod enabled, you can come down here and... and, and click this which is enable infinite reach and this is a really good thing for us so now no matter where my character is standing I can place anything at anywhere I want but of course I can't build like in midair with no blocks up here so that's why I have to build like up like this okay so now what I'm going to do is is that I'm going to destroy that and then um I'm hoping to make like some sort of way to make this like a third room, but um, I'm not sure on how I'm going to be able to do that. So, oh, I think I have an idea on how I'm going to do that. So here, I'm going to get out some platforms, and I need to remind myself not to uh, to get rid of all of this stuff when we're done. So okay, so two platforms. That's enough for your character to fit through, like fall down and jump up through so now we're going to build this over okay jump up here now we're going to take our gray blocks and we're going to put them right here and now we are going to enter smart mode <laughs> wow I just oh that's right smart the smart cursor will not work while infinite reach is on so now now we're just going to fill this in Okay, now I'm going to break these. Now be very careful not to break any of or modify any of your any of your blocks that you've already set down. So now that we've done that, um, let's see here. Okay, so now that we've made another platform, I'm just going to build a third room. And what you can do with these rooms is that you can actually divide them in half, and that's going to be really good for us. Um, because if we want to make more than one house, we can do that. So I'm going to build this over. Okay. Now, I am a stickler for symmetry. So whatever goes, so it's just like an algebraic equation for me. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other as well. It, it's so. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to figure out how, um, like how wide a room is and something tells me that is not like um, suitable housing well of course it's not suitable housing because it doesn't have any furniture in it but at the same time I don't think that's suitable housing we're not gonna make that housing because that would be cruel so okay so now what I'm going to do is is that I'm going to try and mirror this so if we put one two on this side and then well, Act and en en enable the infinite reach. I keep on thinking that I don't have the mod enabled, so <laughs> so I just keep on forgetting about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine after the platform. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, get rid of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, also with this mod, um, if you uh, have the infinite reach enabled, um, every block you destroy is every it's it's like an instant destroy, like you just saw there. So that's really good for us. 
So now I'm going to figure out how wide this is by not moving my character. So one, two, three, four, five, excuse me. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now we start building up. Okay. So now that that's finished. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. Um, we're actually going to get rid of this campfire. We're just going to pick it up and we'll place it somewhere else. Um, we're actually going to be needing that campfire for the arena that we're going to be building, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that in this video. So, okay, so I think I'm going to be splitting this video up into parts, actually, in like part one, part two, part three, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so now that that's symmetrical, um, I'm going to uh, build this out even more. So, okay, so I... Th 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. One thing you need to remember about the builder in this game is that it's very, is that it's very, you know, sensitive. So the slightest movement of your cursor makes all the difference. So 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. So this is basically like the start of the outline for our circle. So. Now it's time to do the same thing on the other side. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut off the segment right now and um, I will start it up again when I have completed this other side. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I have just completed the other side. So now what I'm going to do is is that I'm going to make this an official room and then I'm going to split this room down here in half. So and and we're going to be saving this part for later. So now what I'm going to do is is that I'm going to count out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so 33. Um, there is no divisible by th there. 33 cannot be divided by two. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make an educated guess. So right there is about good. Um, and the w and a really good way to keep it symmetrical is just to keep your character standing where the line of symmetry is. So just imagine like an imaginary line, just like dividing your base in half. And if you're a, if you're a stickler for symmetry like I am, then that's going to be a really good thing for you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out more doors. I'm going to take out one, two, th three doors. So one, two, three. And I know I'm using very basic materials, and I know that I can like really fancy this place up but the thing is is that I just want to keep it basic I don't want to you know like get too complicated too fast or use hard mode stuff in pre hard mode otherwise it'll just look like that I just that I cheated <laughs> which I am technically doing but the thing is is that I've really just been wanting to build our base and just and and stop from using this area down here as the only means of our base because you know that I really do want to have more NPCs move in here. So now what I'm going to do is is going to fill in these rooms, place down some torches. I need to add in a, a door down there. And one thing I like to do is I like to put workbenches in every room to make those the tables. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to first take out what one more door, excuse me. And now I'm going to take out how many rooms is that? That is one, two, three, four. So that's going to be four workbenches. So we're going to take out four workbenches. Okay. And now we're going to take out four chairs. So one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to move that in there. Um, but before we get to placing that stuff down, um, we also need to put in the walls. We also need to secure the walls. 
So I need to take myself out of infinite reach mode. I keep on forgetting to do that. So now I'm just going to be filling in this whole area. And I'm sorry if this is like a very time consuming thing. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to fast forward to where all the rooms are completed. And then I will get back to you guys. I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I've now finished the rooms, and now we're going to move on to these outer sections. So, I guess you guys can already tell that this is going to be a really big build. Um, but that's okay. I mean, um, I'm just... What, I've, what I'm hoping is that um, I can make this like a separate like mini-series, and then... Oh, look, we just got our merchant. <laughs> that's nice. So, um... I guess since we're doing this on the um, on on our Let's Play world and we're getting stuff and we're getting new NPCs and stuff like that while we're while we're building, I guess we can do. I guess this can kind of be like a, another Let's Play video, but this is more like a hey let's build video, you know. So actually, what I'm going to do now is is I'm going to. Um, I think I'm just going to finish out this outer part and then um, I will see you guys later. Okay guys, I just wanted to come back real quickly and say that we just got our nurse. So we're actually getting a lot more NPCs this episode than anything. So um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that quick shout out. So now I'm back to building the wall. Okay guys, back once again. I just wanted to tell you that we just got our demolitionist. So basically in episode 5, um, you're going to be seeing more NPCs and you're going to be seeing a bigger base. Um, uh, well, at least a bigger layout of a base. So just get ready for that. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. So while I was building, I actually noticed that I made a major mistake. Um, so what I've actually done to help with symmetry is if we go into the map by pressing M, um, you can see that I've made this line of symmetry out of wood. Um, this marks the halfway point between the left side and the right side of your base. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this line of symmetry as a guide and that way it will better help me mirror this side. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I am back finally and as you can obviously tell, I have just started building the outer rim of the major part of our base and like I said in um, episode 4 th this base is supposed to be and will be really big and wide so yeah so basically that was today's video guys so thank you so much for watching this video um, thank you for helping me get started with this base and um, leave a comment down below telling me uh, what you would like to see me do with this base and I'll see if I can implement it. So um, I'll look forward to doing another episode of this where we continue building of, off of our base. So um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just Savage aka The Spectrum Gamer. Like and subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you to. And um, I will see you guys later.